In this video, we're going to do a recap of everything we know so far about the Mini 5, including leaks, specifications, and the expected release date. The newest member of the Mini lineup is one of the most anticipated drones right now. And now that its existence has been confirmed through Rayall Images, we can say it's about to set a new record. It will be the first DJI drone to reach a fifth generation, surpassing even the Phantom, which was DJI's most successful drone to date, but never made it past the fourth generation. Let's start with the most recent leaks. Earlier this month, Igor Bogdanov made a post showing the first video of two Mini 5 prototypes. The video begins with a DJI employee walking by holding a Mini 5 in his hand. He heads toward the testing table, where we can see that another Mini 5 is already being evaluated. This confirms that DJI is moving at a fast pace with the Mini 5 prototype testing. We can also see that on the other table, they were working in parallel on the Mavic 4 prototypes, which was recently released. At the end of last month, Rakasushi, another drone insider with reliable sources inside DJI, made a post outlining what is currently known about the Mini 5 specs. It will feature a larger camera with a 1-inch sensor, more powerful motors, and quick-release propellers. It will also come equipped with a front-facing LiDAR sensor to improve object detection and obstacle avoidance. And according to him, the Mini 5 will likely be released this autumn. However, he recently received updated information from his sources, confirming that the Mini 5 is indeed scheduled to be released in September this year. This matches what Jasper Ellens posted back in December, when he shared the first real image of a Mini 5 prototype. In that post, he had already pointed out a launch window during the summer, which aligns with September, and highlighted the drone's main upgrades, such as the LiDAR sensor, the improved camera, and the more powerful motors. On April 24th, he released another image of a Mini 5 prototype, but this time it was in an open environment, undergoing testing on the streets of China. This new photo doesn't have good resolution, but I made some adjustments to improve the quality, and now it's possible to make a comparison with an image of the Mini 4 Pro, which I placed in the same scale and position so we can analyze the main differences. The first thing that caught my attention was the camera. It seems slightly larger and is more exposed, since it doesn't have those side flaps that usually protect the gimbal. That got me thinking, DJI likely made this change to give the gimbal more freedom. It's possible that the Mini 5's camera will be able to rotate 360 degrees on its own axis. After the launch of the Mavic 4, this feature is expected to become a highly desired selling point among consumers. And adding this capability shouldn't be too difficult, especially considering that even the Osmo Pocket already features a gimbal that rotates 360 degrees and delivers stunning cinematic shots. The Osmo Pocket also features another very interesting component that could make its way into the Mini 5, the 1-inch sensor. This sensor brings several cutting-edge features that were previously only available in high-end gear. With its advanced technology, it's likely to become a new standard in upcoming DJI drones. One of the biggest advantages is its superior low-light performance, allowing for much better image capture in darker environments. And this opens up a whole new range of possibilities for filming in various lighting conditions. Another noticeable difference is the enlargement of these bulges where the optical collision sensors are housed. They've become larger and wider, which was necessary to accommodate this pair of windows for the LiDAR sensor. As I mentioned in my previous videos, they were probably designed this way to avoid blocking the 60-degree upward tilt angle. After all, the tilt and rotation of the camera were already a major highlight of the Mini 4 Pro. The LiDAR sensor is expected to significantly improve the obstacle detection and avoidance system of the Mini 5 Pro, as it's more advanced and will work even in complex environments with low light. However, one question still remains. 
What will be the range of this LiDAR? After the launch of the Mavic 4, it was revealed that it features a mid-range LiDAR sensor, capable of measuring distances up to 25 meters with a 60-degree field of view. Interestingly, this is the same range found in the Air 3S, which shares exactly the same specifications. DJI has officially named this device the 3D Infrared Sensing System. There are also simpler infrared detection systems, short-range ones, like the one used in the Spark, or the downward-facing sensors found on most drones, which measure the distance to the ground. A similar system is currently used on the Flip, with a range of about 8 meters. Let's hope the Mini 5 comes with the same 25-meter LiDAR as the Mavic 4 and Air 3S, especially because by the time it's released, DJI will likely have further improved its AI algorithms to more accurately detect obstacles to avoid and subjects to track. Another feature that's very evident in this image is the propeller guards. These are accessories that were probably installed just to provide extra safety during the obstacle avoidance tests. But unfortunately, they ended up covering the motors and propellers, which may have gone through some improvements. Since the first leaks about the Mini 5, it's been said that it would come with stronger motors featuring ventilation openings. This has been consistently confirmed in the most recent posts. An additional new detail has also been revealed. The Mini 5 will feature removable propellers with a quick-release system, a big improvement compared to the Mini 4, which still uses propellers fixed with screws. Another feature expected to improve is the battery. The Mini 4 Pro comes with two battery options, a standard model that lasts 34 minutes, and a plus model that offers up to 45 minutes of flight time. For the Mini 5 Pro, the expectation is that the standard battery will already deliver 45 minutes of autonomy, and if a plus version is released, flight time could exceed 50 minutes. A longer battery life allows for greater range, but not necessarily. That's because the Mini 4 Pro already uses the latest 04 transmission system, which provides an impressive range of up to 20 kilometers. It's already one of DJI's longest range drones, matching the Air 3S and even surpassing the 15 kilometers range of the Mavic 3 Pro. Currently, it only falls behind the Mavic 4, which uses the new 04 Plus technology, offering a range of up to 30 kilometers. And in that video, showing the two Mini 5 prototypes, you can clearly see they're being tested using the RC2 controllers, which have a range of up to 20 kilometers. It's very likely that the Mini 5 will also be compatible with the RCN3 and motion controller. It's also expected to support the latest goggles, like the Goggles 3 and Goggles N3, for a more immersive flight experience. Still talking about controllers, there have been rumors that the RC track has been cancelled. It's unclear why, or whether this is a permanent cancellation or just a temporary delay. But this device would be perfect for the Mini 5. It's extremely lightweight, portable, and features GPS tracking. It would be especially appealing for sports enthusiasts who love capturing footage of their outdoor activities. Internal storage has become standard in nearly all of DJI's latest drones. So for the Mini 5, the ideal would be around 32GB of built-in memory. Another possible new feature for the Mini 5 Pro is an audio recording system. This wouldn't require much hardware investment. DJI could simply adapt the same system used in the Neo, where voice is recorded through the app. Along the same lines, DJI could also implement a voice command system. Hey Fly, take a drony allowing the Mini 5 Pro to perform pre-programmed moves. If that turns out to be feasible, it would also make sense to add a dedicated button for flight modes, similar to what exists on the Neo and Flip, so users could trigger preset movements without needing a remote controller. The Mini series has truly earned its place in the drone market, thanks to a combination of features that make it stand out. It's reliable, compact, foldable, has excellent range, long battery life, great stability, and impressive image quality. Most importantly, it's an entry-level drone that comes in multiple versions at relatively affordable prices. 
Speaking of price, the Mini 5 Pro is expected to fall in a mid-range bracket, between the Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3S. The most affordable version of the Mini 4 Pro comes with the RCN2 controller, no screen, and just one battery, priced at $759. On the other hand, the entry-level Air 3S starts at $1,099. So the expected price for the base version of the Mini 5 Pro would be around $850. The most complete version, the Fly More Combo Kit with the RC2 controller with built-in screen, is likely to reach around $1,200. If you remembered any other technical detail you'd like me to cover, drop it in the comments. I read them all and I'll make sure to include it in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching.